Hello everybody today I'm going to show you how to enable the crosshair in the Binding of Isaac after birth, rebirth or after birth plus. So what you want to do is go to your documents folder, um, my games, and then depending on what DLCs you have or don't have you want to go basically to the latest one. So if you only have rebirth you'd open the rebirth folder, if you have after birth you'd open the after birth folder, and if you have after birth plus you'd open the after birth plus folder. Uh, scroll until you find options.ini. You might have to um, customly open this with um, Notepad here, like so. And then when it says minus control here, just change that to what, 1. Uh, save that. Now you want to open the binding of Isaac. And what this basically does is just puts a crosshair on your screen to make um, some items a little bit different to use, easier in some cases. So as you can see, uh, now the crosshair. You can't do anything in the menu. You'll have to go to a, it own, well, I'll demonstrate here actually. So as you can see, it works kind of like the, the flash banding Isaac, the original one, where it shoots into where you're pointing. But if I give myself some like, analog stick, I can actually fire any towards this. Well, you know what I mean, any, I actually fire towards the crosshair. Um, now if I, uh, if I reset this here, I'll show you something like Epic Fetus. As you can see, if I click it, we'll just follow the crosshair. Um, it works this for all items like this. So if I give myself marked, it'll fire towards the crosshair. Similar to analog stick, but it constantly fires. Um, if I give myself Ludovico technique, C329, you can see it will move towards the crosshair like so. Um, it works, so any items that kind of have the crosshair on the floor, it'll work with those. And you can fire your tears in any direction if you have an analog stick. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to enable it and what it really does. Thank you for watching and goodbye.